Welcome friends, I am Thonmoy. So today we are going to learn a new topic that is halogenation of carbonyl. Mainly ketone. Why? Because an aldehyde, you know, has a great tendency due to less bulkness that can undergo aldol condensation and polymerization. So generally ketone is preferred for this process. So, difference of ketone and aldehyde means one hydrogen is there attached to carbonyl group that is aldehyde and both are carb uh, carbon then that is ketone. So, this is. So, you can see from the, so this is the carbonyl compound in presence of acid it produces in presence of acid and actually you can say X2 this is fluorine is not X. Fluorine doesn't show such processes. Okay means next step here mm -hmm. so mainly we are this considering about halogens like chlorine bromine and iodine so this is it produces monobrom mono halo substituted okay and this is alpha position to carbonyl that is mono alpha okay so this is mainly alpha halogenation and in presence of base it produces trialkylation so this is trihalo so this is the difference now we will explain why let us first explain about the acidic condition so if you see the carbonyl chemistry I have explained in my previous video also this gets protonate to produce this protonated with a formal charge of oxygen this has a resonance means it can withdraw and positive charge will come here okay so this is after protonation this became even more electron deficient so that's why these undergo a tautomerization or you can say enolization because right now it's keto carbonyl after that it produces you know how this proton is abstracted by some solvent molecule which is acting as a base means solvent molecule this this and this so ultimately it produces O H this. this is called enol. Okay, so keto enol. This is now this enol reacts with halogen like BrBr. So what happens? You can expect that attack can be happen from this and this. These halogens are softer in nature. That's why that attack happens from carbon side. This is more stable. Second point, logically, you can accept that, okay, some attack is happening from the oxygen side. What will be the product? O, B, R. This is, this is. Will it be stable? You know, one example, H, O, B, R. Under this hypobromous acid, what happens? It decomposes. Means this bond is not stable. Why? This is also electronegative. This is also electronegative. So this bond is not stable. So reaction will not happen from there. If something happened, that will decompose. So in this way, reaction will happen as the carbon bromine bond formation is there. So if these attacks happen, means blue, this halogen can act as this acid also. It can take the electron in the sigma star and it breaks. Actually, more specifically, they have vacant d orbital. First, they take there. After that, electron transfer to sigma star. So, this bond breaks and new bond form that is the carbon halogen. And right now, this electron is pushed. So, this. This. Now, question. Why reaction stops here? In case of this, it doesn't stop here. Why? Because you have to see that reaction happens through enolization. What do I mean? Means after that it will remove one eliminate the proton and produce this. So enolization means this is withdrawing. Okay? And this is also withdrawing due to the electronegativity difference. So this is more electron efficient right now due to withdrawing nature of this CH2Br. So consequently the electron availability on oxygen will be less for the donation to means it oxygen has less electron to donate to the proton so that's why it will not be able to form stable means more efficient adduct formation with proton or acid like previous also reaction will stop here so this is the explanation how this acid catalyst happens but when we are 
using as a base. So what happens? Base catalyzed reaction is first abstraction of this proton. Base means alkali, that hydroxyl alkali sodium hydroxide potassium. It abstract this and it produces this anion, carbon ion. And this carbon ion is resonance stabilized using conjugation with the carbon group. So this is O minus this is. So this is called enolate. Okay, like carboxyl group is a carboxylate. It is enol, anion of enol, enolate. So you can remember this thing. So this, sorry, this is not carboxyl. This is enol and this is enolate. Okay, this is the difference. Now this is produced, and if we consider this halogen, similar. And even it is more reactive. Previously there was a hydrogen attached. Right now no hydrogen is there, so more reactive. So it will react and first produce this Br. And right now you see the first step is the proton abstraction. So if I increase the acidity of this proton, then abstraction will be more. Right now this here is another proton. So this carbon is attached to one electron withdrawing group here. Another is here. So this proton is more acidic compared to this proton. Okay, unsubstituted. That is the reason the second step is faster than the previous one. So in presence of alkali, same process. This generates a carbon ion. Here, that is resonance stabilized with the carbonyl group. That reacts with halogen or like Br to produce another bromoderivative. This. Still, it has an another hydrogen. So this is even further reactive. So it abstraction even easier. And similarly, it produces the finally trihaloderivative. But it is difficult to stop the reaction. Okay. So what happens? This happens. So it is very difficult to stop the trihaloderivative. What happens? Alkali further reacts here. It goes up this and it leaves. So what is the product? One is so if it has an R previously, so ultimately it will be R OH and in, this is under basic condition, so OH will not be stable, it will be O minus plus C Br3 minus. I have explained this about such uh, carbon ions, so please see my carbon ions video, it will, it will be easier for you to understand. I shall not explain here in details. So this is and this abstracts one proton from solvent molecule to prepare this Br3CH or CHBr3. Actually these are called, this is called bromoform and such reaction is called haloform reaction. I will explain it in details in my next video. So right now we will focus mainly up to this. What? That this trihalogenation is facile because the after first step the proton here is more reactive, more acidic that's why it undergo very rapid and it end up with 3. So I guess you have understood that acidic uh, acid catalyzed halogenation is enol based. So that's why in terms of electron withdrawing group the basicity of this carbonyl oxygen reduced so it stops here. But here it is a enolate based means abstraction of proton to generate the carbon ion. And that's why after addition of halogen it's more active so it ends up uh, trihalogenation. So this is the end of the video. In next video I will explain about haloform reaction. And another one proper unique property of this alpha bromo this reagent is that they undergo in case of presence of nucleophile very efficient SN2 reaction very efficiently to produce this this so I shall explain this in a separate video next okay so this is the end of the lecture if you like my teaching please give a like and share this video among your friends such that many people could get benefited from my effort and finally subscribe my channel chemistry the mystery of molecule and please press the bell icon to get the notification of every new single video i upload so see you in the next video